It's the 2K Sports pregame show. This is 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA. We're joined by the legends Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And on tap tonight, it's the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Houston Rockets at Toyota Center. Well, it was the Rockets in their last game with a loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. A crushing defeat in that one. Still with a sour taste in their mouths, they're looking to play much better. And guys, we'll get to see Freak play in this one. He was one of the bigger names in college. Jumped to the NBA after one year. Shaq, you left early as well. How hard of a decision was it to leave school? Well, I mean, it's never an easy decision. Uh, each person has, has different reasons uh, why they want to leave. Financial responsibility, just getting tired. In my case, the hack of Shaq was created. Uh, I was getting beat up too much. And I heard my, my main man, Dick Vitale, say if Shaq leaves, he'll be the number one pick. So I didn't want to go back, get hurt, and possibly drop. Yeah, because you could have been number two if you stayed a year, I'll tell you. But, uh, you know, this guy, Freak. Because if you would have played in that era with Freak, I don't know, Shaq. This guy, you know, he left school early. The Rockets play before the hometown crowd here in downtown Houston, Texas. It's Wednesday Night Basketball, live on 2K Sports. Boys, I'm nice Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. Looking at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a loss to Dallas. And I think they can hold their heads high from that performance, you know, despite the final score being what it was. I agree with you. I mean, it was a tough game played in a tough environment on the road, and they were in it right until the bitter end. So that's good stuff. Why don't we take this chance now to show you the most active wing defenders in the league? These are this season's fifth on the list, Andrew Wiggins. I mean, if you're an opposing small forward, this could also be called a list of the league's most annoying players. I mean, they will be in your jersey all night when you're up against them. Greg, they are an elite group of defenders. I mean, they don't just make it difficult for opposing small forwards. They pester entire teams with their activity, jumping in the passing lanes, being active with their hands and feet. Very impressive defensively. The Rockets shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. This season, in general, has not been kind to them at the free throw line. Only about 71%. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. The Timberwolves shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. <laughs> And the first one at the line is good. Each one more is checked in for Houston. And so he makes both from the line. Houston leading by four to the inside. And it's blocked. But they'll get another chance. It's Freak, top of the key. Pass to Moore. The feed now to Freak. Another miss by Houston. And that's not the best of shot selection there. The defense definitely won that possession. Yeah, I think in that case, you've got to go elsewhere with the ball. You just can't rise up over the top of him when he's on you. Chalmers with it. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. He feeds it to Freak. Down to five on the shot clock. Chalmers pass to Smooth. And not sure what he was thinking there. Now the Timberwolves with it, trailing by two. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. Yeah, and a four-game season series between these two, both will be looking to set the tone tonight. Yeah, and as they renew acquaintances, if you're the underdog, you always want to show, hey, we've got something new up our sleeve. It should be fun. Levine dishes to Pekovic. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Houston's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Freak kicks to Moore. Out to the right wing. 
And the wide open shot from Chalmers. Offline with his three. Here's Wiggins. Here's Sims, and he converts the lane. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Not a lot you can do as a defense when they keep hitting the ball in the paint like this. Puts up the baby hook. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. The Rockets have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. And he makes the first. At the line for two. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Timberwolves have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. A floater, Levine can't hit. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage. Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. And he gets it to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Pass to Sims. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. Good on the triple. For three. Wiggins has got eight points. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Capella with the bucket. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Here's Levine. Here's Wiggins. Plenty of space. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Here's Booker, and too long on the shot. Clock management, this is where they can get a two-for-one. And, Kevin, every opportunity counts. Levine kicks to Sims, and there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Oh, that's blocked. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Twenty seconds left to play in the first quarter. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. Yeah, I agree. Not a lot of activity chasing down their misses. Some teams focus on getting back. I understand that. But you should send at least one guy after those. For Houston, they have shot 80% from the lines tonight going 4-5 to five so far. And he shows the focus there. Nails the technical. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. I tell you what, he'll get some of those hustle points if he keeps boxing out like that. And we reach the end of the first quarter. And Dwight Howard, a lightning rod figure around the league, subject to a lot of criticism, but... Basketball, this is my passion, you know. It's an interesting concept that Dwight has to take something very seriously in order to have fun. He does say he has a burning passion to win a championship. He's been in the finals, and uh, this is a guy that's got still a lot to shoot for, he feels, in his career. That's a great point, Kevin. And the challenge for Dwight is how to balance how serious he is and how passionate he is with, with having that fun on the court uh, that he's at. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Timberwolves? I just don't know that you're going to see a better quarter defensively than what we saw in the first. Really a big part of why they're on top here. The defense has been on point. Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. Beasley out there with help. And it's smooth in at the point. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the 76ers was a big factor. He picked up 10 points, and along with what he did on the offensive end, he also played some stellar defense as well. He really was the second unit for his team in a great performance, guys. Thank you, Doris. He was the player they uh, leaned on that night. He didn't disappoint him. Not at all. Came through in a big way. Whatever they needed from him, he was able to deliver. Well, I think he actually gave them a little more than what they needed. Terrific all-around effort. And now the Timberwolves on the break. 
It's Bialica, and count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Patrick Beverly. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Nikola Bekovic is checked in for Gobert. Henry Sims comes in for Towns. Andrew Wiggins is checked in for Bialic. And Levine subbed in for Muhammad. Here's Freak. He's coming off a 10-point game against Philadelphia. Yeah, but he was also a force on the defensive side. Two block shots. It also altered a ton of shots. And here's the break. Levine kicks to Sims. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. they will go to the line. All oh, the, the officials are all over that. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. Houston making a switch. Capella's checked in. Rockets trail by eight. Now oh, here's Freak. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over ten points a game. And that one's good. Wigan. And that's sort of been the story here today, hasn't it? Smooth passes to Booker. It's a halt the run. Rebound, Minnesota. Sims has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Mack. He's guarded by Smooth. Pekovic can't get it to go. And it's Houston the other way, coming off that loss against Philadelphia. And I don't care how much you grind it out defensively. When you shoot it that poorly, you're going to struggle to win games. Well, it's not only going to be a struggle. It's going to be virtually impossible if you shoot as poorly as they did. Here's Smooth. The Rockets with another miss. But boy, they just cannot take the lid off. Well, they need a basket in the worst possible way. And... They've got to stop this run, and the only way you do that, you got to score yourself. Launches it. That's good, and so Chalmers with the assist. Freaks got it back down to single digits for Houston. Sometimes trailing in the game, players get sucked into trying to make that home run play. Yeah, trying to get it all back in a hurry, and you're right on that. But these threes they're taking have not helped. They're trying to catch fire. They've yet to find the match. We've got 108 left to play here in the half. Chalmers dishes to Freak. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. And that one's good, Pekovic. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash-mouth basketball, guys. They're all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. And Mack kicks to Pekovic. That one wide left. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And here's Chalmers from the arc. There's the bucket. Good. And now it's just a four-point Timberwolves lead. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their pass. That'll be Minnesota as it goes out of bounds. Timberwolves retain possession. Six seconds left in the first half. Here's Levine. Cans the shot from the wing. Levine's got eight points. And we finished one half of basket. Well, through the first two quarters at least, turnovers have been a big issue. What are they doing that is causing you so much trouble offensively? Uh, well, it's been a high pressure game, both in transition and a half for a We'll fix it though.
Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Andrew Wiggins really making a difference here. Yeah, and he just went off in those. Houston with a big group substitution here. White Howard's checked in for Capella. Booker comes in for Michael Beasley. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. And Freak subbed in for Patrick Beverly. And then for Minnesota, Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Towns. Nikola Pekovic comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's Muhammad in for Sheldon Mack. On the court for Minnesota, Levine is out there with Muhammad. And there's Pekovic. And it's Rudy Gobert. And it's Bialica in at the three spot. Here's Levine. He's guarded by Smooth. Out to the right wing. Offensive rebound. Gobert. And it's blocked. Rockets trail by 14. Kicks it to Howard. Muhammad with the steal. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. As we get this season underway, let's see how the Timberwolves have done so far in the NBA stats. First in free throw percentage. First in opponent offense. And they show up also in the top five in opponent shooting percentage. That's because they've really made a commitment at the defensive end. And you look at their ranking, tops in free throw percentage. I think it speaks to their focus and discipline as a team. They look to capitalize on every mistake. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. He kicks to Levine, and he's good on the three ball. Levine's got five points now this quarter. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for Minnesota. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop-chop there with that one hand tomahawk slam? And it's blocked. Here's Harden. Oh! Oh, can you believe that? Did we really just see that? Oh, my gosh. They must have practiced in that move. They had to be. A monster and dunk served up cold. And that was Kia bringing you the close-up on the big-time play. Houston making a switch here. Beasley's checked in. Bialica passes to Levine. Knocked away. And stolen by Freak. Tries it from nine. And it's off the back rim. No good. It's a plus-five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Levine can't hit. Rockets trail by 16. It's Harden with the drive, and he gets it to go. Harden's got 11 points. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. Pekovic dishes to Levine, lays it up and in off the pretty assist. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Expanding his range, Smooth's shot is off. Unfortunately, that's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. Feeds it to Levine. There's the pick. Clock at six. Pekovic with a screen on Chalmers. Here's Levine. And the Timberwolves tack on two more. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Henry Sims has checked in for Rudy Gobert. And Andrew Wiggins has subbed in for Muhammad. Here's Levine. He's got 17. Releases from 15, and again it's Minnesota. Nice piece of work there. Get yourself a little space and pull the trigger. Here's Smooth. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And as we end the third quarter, a double. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but you never know.
Padres trail by 17. Now Harden. He dishes it to Beasley. So far in the game for Beasley, 10 points and a steal. I tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. And, and he would have stood out just on the strength of the defense. But how about offensively? He's been clicking there as well. Deckers checked in for Houston. Zach Levine's checked in for the Timberwolves. Shelvin Mack comes in for Towns. Not loose. Freak with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Freak kicks to Decker. Gobert with the block. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Smooth passes to Beasley. Beasley the screen. Harden dishes to Beasley. The Rockets with another miss. Timberwolves leading by 23. Wiggins kicks to Bialica. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Here's Gobert. Foul oh, call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And the first one drops. And the Rockets making a change here. Capella's checked in. And Gobert drops them both. He's simply just willing himself to the line here. Houston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Smooth, lays it in without an inch of room around him. Really aggressive play there, taking it to the rack against the big fella. You know, Greg, aggressiveness is really the only option when you're on the wrong side of the size equation. Here's Levine, passes it to Gobert, takes the three, rebounded by Capella. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. The pass to Bialica. There's the dish to Mack. Carries it from about 10 feet away. He's had an off game thus far, but his team has been able to pick up the slack and find a way to get it done here. Smooth passes to Harden. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That's his first personal foul. At the line for your Rockets. He's off on the first. Boy, it's terribly frustrating for a coach when his team can't knock down their free throw. I mean, it really comes down to focus, routine, and stamina, especially in the second half. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Booker, he's checked in for Capella. Decker comes in for Trevor Ariza. And it's each one more checking in for James Harden. Dinwiddie kicks to Muhammad. Five to shoot. It's rebounded by Houston. Inside, Booker. Muhammad grabs the board. Just tentative in the paint. Lacking a little bit of confidence allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. There's the screen. They double in with Freak. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Decker. Moore outside, and a wide-open look for Freak. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is up and in. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Timberwolves leading by 22. One thirty-three left to play here in the fourth. Six on the shot clock. Dinwiddie dishes to Sims, and he gets it to go. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Minnesota. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark. Uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did, and they just cracked it open and made it an NC. No contest. Yeah, I like that. And now, for the year, this is going to take him to seven wins. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. Especially because they're going to get together three more times this season, Greg. You love to get an opponent figured out early when you're going to be seeing them that often. There's the pick. Violates a pass to Sims. 
So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And that one falls for Sims. Good on both. And so it's Houston with it. It's Beasley on the wing. And out of bounds is the Timberwolves oh, gain possession. You better listen you, that. You know, that's hard to explain that play. I mean, I, I guess he thought he had more room than he did. And here's Jones. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. <laughs> I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Kevin, much appreciated, and now let's move on. He simply had a dominant third quarter, and it quickly became apparent he wanted to exert his control over the tempo of the game. Boom, boom, boom. That's right, Ernie. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening. Who would you say is to blame for your team's recent struggles? You or your teammates? We all got to take the blame here. It's a team effort, whether we're winning or losing. And that means me as much as everyone else. Let's try with the trap, though. Next. Any reason you had such a hard time taking care of the ball tonight? There's no excuse. I just got to be more deliberate with the choices I make. You get careless with the ball in this league, and teams will make you pay. And that's on me. I saw your longtime girlfriend, Yvette Mendenhall, was in attendance at the game today. So when are you going to get her a ring? <sighs> Whoa. All right, I didn't know we were going to get all personal up in here tonight. Um, if there's anything I learned after my first season in the NBA, is that it's best to keep my personal life private. So that's what I'm going to do. Me and Yvette are happy, just like we've always been. She means the world to me, and that's all I'm going to say. All right, I'm out.